You're listening to the family of Tegeta podcast. Message from Neo. Life on planet Uranus. Beloved friends of light. Moving through all of creation, we continue to communicate of life unknown to you. Uranus is a planet of such beauty in living and so misunderstood with the perception of temperatures that would not support life in form as you know it to be on Earth. As humans there are limits to light, heat, cold and sound and these frequencies could not be managed by the body form that you are experiencing if amplified to that known by Uranus. The name that is true for the planet Uranus is Nebulac. The planet was not always among those in your galaxy. Spiraling slowly from a parallel energy of being, the vacuum of space left by a burning meteor allowed this star to enter and remain tilted on its axis for millennia. The beings of this density would not be seen by human eyes. They are beautiful and compassionate with looks that would frighten you. They stand erect at seven feet tall with yellow scaly skin and four arms with claws. They call themselves Nepak. They have no hair and wear capes with crystals. The Nepak enjoy a life of oneness. They live in peace and tranquility and their faces and eyes reflect kindness to all beings. They live in crystal mountains with lovely rest areas of tapestries and soft material draped upon crystal chairs. They enjoy drums and metal instruments that glow when played. They circulate light with crystal hearts and will never die in body form. Their bodies were upgraded by the Galactic Federation before their beloved leader fell and abandoned them forever. They procreate with sexual energy and bond with one partner for their infinite life. They know no discord or war which allows for peaceful and harmonious relationships. They enjoy small creatures that resemble turtles and these are considered to be beloved pets. The Nepak consume water and plants to sustain optimum health and well-being. Their story of life was perfection when Pitkazox ruled over them as a mentor and protector of sacred life. He was a member of the Galactic Federation and lived in harmony with all beings of Uranus for millions of years. He taught the Nepak great technology which allowed travel to distant stars in magnificent crafts. As he traveled and explored many areas, he visited Sirius and met a beautiful female named Kata. They loved one another and gave birth to two sons. Ashtar who became commander of the Galactic Federation representing Sirius Naplia A, and Opi Shek Leo who became dark and evil on his path and became the being known as Lucifer. He dwelled in Sirius Naplia B. The brothers and father understood their power but Ashtar alone stood in light. As his father and brother rose in darkness, they completely banished the idea of the Galactic Federation and rebelled in all communication. As the light forces assisted Earth in many ways, Pitkazox became the being known as Satan as he traversed the Earth claiming to be God. The people of Earth fell and worshipped him as the light forces attempted to reason with those so direly confused. The ongoing travesty of the darkness of this once great lineage still brings destruction on planet Earth with religions believing in blood sacrifice in the name of God. For those living on Uranus, the news of the ongoing saga of destruction has brought wounds of the heart as they too long for galactic peace for all. Remember your light so that no man and no being can deceive you further. You will soon be free of duality. Rise as one light. En ikimai iya. I love you so. Neo.